Hey everyone, and welcome to another HD tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to upgrade um, your current version of iTunes, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, to iTunes 8, the Plus version with DRM free music, etc. You've probably heard of it. So, right now, just for this tutorial, I'm going to open up an internet browser and navigate to apple.com. It's not a very complicated website, here it is, apple.com. So what we're going to do is go to the Downloads tab, actually no, even closer, go to the iPod plus iTunes tab on apple.com, and, sorry about this, we are going to scroll down until we find um, iTunes. Here's iTunes Plus. DRM free music and iTunes Plus now from available from all four major music labels. So click on Learn More, and it's going to give us a Download Now link right up at the top. So you click on it. And even if we have existing iTunes, even if we have existing songs and videos and games in iTunes, as well as a paired um, iPhone or iPod, you can still download this, and it will it will actually sense during the installation process. Oh, you already have iTunes. Would you like to upgrade? And it will. And if you click yes to the upgrade, then it will continue to save. It will go on from there to save all of your songs, all of your videos all of your music, everything that you have in your current version of iTunes, as well as podcast subscriptions, everything will remain the same, except it will be DRM free. So I would, if you, I were you, uncheck this, and I would leave this checked just in case a newer version or a discount uh, shows up. Now, if you have 64-bit Windows Vista, you will notice most likely if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM or more, otherwise you'll probably have uh, regular 32-bit Windows XP or Vista. When you are done, um, by the way, this is available for Mac or PC, like I said, hit the Download Now button. So, you most likely, if you're watching this video, already know what iTunes is, so I don't have to go over this. But what is new in iTunes? Well, first of all, the Genius Toolbar is standard. Second of all, high-quality DRM-free music. Now, what this means is, in previous versions of iTunes, um, you could only put your music that you purchased on one iPod or on one portable music device. Now, if I were to buy music in iTunes, I could put it on my LG Voyager, I could put it on my iPod Touch, I could put it on someone else's iPhone, I could put it on as many gadgets as I have maintained in my network um, that are part of my iTunes network. So, um, I don't need Bonjour service right now. So, as you can see, I've opened up iTunes, I've got a new podcast. This is the new version of iTunes. Um, you'll notice if I go into my music here, to the right is the Genius sidebar, which makes uh, it randomly, well not randomly, but it makes playlists uh, based on recommended music from the iTunes store that you don't have yet. And it will tell you exactly how to, it'll give you direct links right here where to get them. You can hide the sidebar or even turn on Genius, um, but I don't actually want to turn on Genius, so I'll just, yeah, you have to sign in with your Apple ID, so I'm not going to do that quite yet. But yeah, there's a lot of good things in um, iTunes 8 Plus, so I would highly recommend you down this. So even if you already have a version of iTunes, it will automatically upgrade and save all your files, uh, subscriptions to podcasts and everything. So this has been another HT tutorial. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any other uh, tutorial ideas for me to do, just go ahead and send me a message. Thanks for watching.